Listen, I know after a tough loss against the Broncos, I did ask, you know, what, what do you go ahead and tell your teammates after a loss like that? And you said it was too soon. You've had a couple days to go ahead and absorb the loss in the season ahead. What do you tell your teammates, especially the young guys, as you guys move forward with, with so many games left? I just, you know, what do you want to get out of this? Uh, you know, we, we still have our goals out there, and we're going through a tough time right now, no doubt about it. And, you know, are you going to – what side of the fence are you going to be on? Are you going to be on ours or are you going to go on the other side? And it's going to be easy – to see if you're with us and you want to keep working and keep grinding and you know just put together a good great performance we just haven't done that yet and we've shown spurs but that just doesn't get it done in this league and we know that and uh you know just keep believing and there's there's no reason to to get your head down and you know not come to work every day with the same enthusiasm same energy where would you really where else would you rather be you know working Doing what you love to do. Working in radio, right? Yeah. I mean, you could be... Exactly. For you, it's radio. For us, it's playing in the NFL. I mean, regardless of how mad and frustrated I may be, it's not going to change how I am when I get out there on the field and when I come to work. I mean, because I just know deep down that, you know, I'm I'm blessed. I, I play this game to the fullest, and I give it all that I have, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. So yeah. to share that and to show guys that it's not all bad in the world. I mean, look at this. Look at all the people that are here she got given blood and trying to save lives and you know the, the kids that were there you know sharing their stories with us um you know when you think about the big things in life it really shares perspective of you know it's not all that bad and, and remember what you really have and hopefully it could be a driving force to get us where we want to go well here's some positive things you guys talked about wanting to get better on third down defense and, and yep. <laughs> yeah so let me ask you that how do you feel about how the, the type of pride you have and the way the defense has played and it has kept you in these games yeah yeah, I mean, there's there's still areas that we feel we can get better at. We've, we've kept ourselves in a lot of games. We feel that you know, to be a good to a great defense, we got to go out and win games and dominate games. And we've had chances to do that, and we've just had maybe three or four plays throughout a game where, uh, you know, we, we just – it's been more us, you know, whether it's communicating, whether it's not playing all 11. Uh, it's just been those few plays throughout a game that's really – Make hindering us to being a great defense, but it, it's showing our belief that we're playing really well. We're playing together, and you know we're just trying to to go out and win games, and that's what we're trying to do for the team and give our offense more opportunities, get the ball back to them, and they'll get it going. And once that happens, we'll we'll be a force to reckon with. My last question: Does Norv Turner still have this locker room? Does he still have the locker? Does he still have the locker room? Do I even need to answer that? I know you don't, but I but I want you to go ahead and do it. I because you know because it's been such a topic and it's it's been it's been a a, a, a big topic for well since last year. No, maybe since he was hired. So I'm going to ask you as as what I'm going to ask you as yes, I'm going to ask you exactly. exactly. <laughs> I don't know if people still want me here or not. They do, but I'm going to ask you as one of the leaders, and one of the captains, and a guy who commands respect. I'm going to ask you. I mean, of course, so the locker room isn't phased by what the outside thinks or um, what they want or what they may not want. Uh, we believe in our head coach, and and I've always been a guy that says the coaches coach, players play, and he week in and week out he does uh, as good a job as anyone to get us prepared, put us in position to make plays, and uh, it's on us as players to go out and execute. And we will believe with him. Uh, we'll go down fighting with him, and that won't change whether we're win these next six games or when we lose the next six games. We're going to fight with our coach. Thank you very much.